Well, 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 here I am again. Playing the Binding of Isaac, it's a random run. And it feels a little bit cheap to go for a random Isaac run after the incredible run that we just had. So let's start in more random again. Ooh, that feels a little bit more on the fair side, unfortunately. At least it's not an XL floor. I can deal with Curse of Darkness, and much like that Samson run two runs ago, for whatever reason we open up with Monstro's Tooth in our item room. You know, hard to complain when you don't start with the Space Power item, but fuck this. <laughs> Monstro's Tooth ended up working out okay for us on that Samson run. We ended up winning. I mean, I don't know why I'm talking about two runs ago when we just had a, a wonderful run last run, but anyway. Don't worry about it too much. I'm gonna have some fun. Eve is probably my least favorite character in the game. It's either Eve or Blue Baby. I know there are people who are like, objectively, Samson is worse. Sure, man. You know, if, if life was about objectivity, then we'd all be living on fucking Mars by now. Don't question it. That's just a super handsism. Now, we do not have any keys. We don't need any keys, technically, to save Monstro's Tooth for the boss fight, which hopefully won't be against Monstro. I am skeptical that the game will be nice enough to work that out for me, though. Ah, oh, it's Duke of Flies. And it's as slow as Molasses Duke of Flies as well. Good, but bad, because we are going to have to deal with some of the uh, bullshit, like, super flies that he creates. On the bright side, probably shouldn't take us too many shots to, you know, knock his uh, gravy boat over here. That's my new favorite euphemism for everything in life. Sex, knocking the gravy boat over. Um... Butt sex, knocking the gravy boat over especially. Uh, oral sex, that's, you know that's knocking the gravy over. Almost glad I took damage here, because Dead Bird, you know, makes this fight a lot easier without annoying the shit out of me. And we actually got 2 HP, as along with the shot speed upgrade, which, you yeah. But we got 2 HP on this floor, which makes me feel a whole lot better about this Eve run in general. Now, we could uh, very much use some um, keys. Generally speaking, oh my god, I'm not very pleased with the fact that I took some red heart damage there. I'm still getting used to the fact that Eve is oh right shitty, so um, once I recalibrate for that, hopefully I can stop taking so much ridiculously dumb red heart damage. But let's fight our boss, we're already here. Let's go through it, it's the Widow. Jump for me, Widow. Jump for me. And then we Monstro's Tooth, and that worked fantastically. I wanted to make sure we timed that appropriately. Might actually snag us a deal with the Devil very quick, and uh, didn't take any damage on the fight. Still gives me like a one-third chance, which seems to have worked itself out. Our deal with the Devil Room contains dog shit items for dog shit people. I apologize for being so sweary so far, but seriously. Would have thought this would have uh, worked out a little bit better for us. You know, in my defense, I think anger is a, a reasonably appropriate reaction when, you know, we have such a good boss fight and then we end up getting a range upgrade followed by a deal with the devil with two of the worst deal with the devil items in the game. Could have taken Guppy's head and had a chance to become Guppy, but, you know, that's pretty risky. I mean, it's not risky, it's just, it is risky. It's risky because you, uh, you lose HP and pick up an item that may benefit you but could also end up, you know, sucking the big one. And that's definitely tipping the gravy boat. That's not our secret room? Okay. Sure, fine. Let's continue the fuck me's. I'm gonna try to make this episode, you know, G-rated at this point. This, this PG-13 riffraff is getting a little bit too much for me. We have a demon judgment. Well, this definitely makes the boss trap room doable. Now, normally the way that I would choose to do this... Ooh, oh, that's so good. Normally the way that I would choose to do this is to do the blood bank first, but... I thought, you know, if we could only do one, let's do Demon Judgment instead. Oh, you're really gonna give me the IV bag? Sucks, but also is kind of okay, especially now that we got a staggering amount of money from it. Um, because it can put us in this permanent, uh, Horror Babylon state. Also give me enough money to hopefully gamble for some keys, so we're gonna try that out first. I don't want, uh, I do want that Red Heart. I don't want more Red Hearts, though. But being in the permanent Horror Babylon state here is pretty good. I'll, I'll go for bombs as well. I want to stay at around 15 cents. I mean, I'd, I'd rather stay at 20. But um, we'll, we'll go as low as 15 cents to make this work. We might be able to snag some keys. Like, if the crate is the item on that boss trap room, that would work out fine as well. Got a little bit more money back, so we can gamble on you a little bit. Oh, we got a lot more money back. All right. Start this little song and dance again. We still have more plays as well via the, the Blood Bank, but let's just try to win like at least one key here. I don't want that actually. Okay, we don't want those just yet. Good. We'll leave. Um, secret room should be more viable. I will go ahead and guess that that's probably right here. Yeah, pretty much by definition. Okay, good. Waste of a bomb. Luckily, we did get some extras. 
And it's time to make Monstro's Tooth 2.0 work for us here. Extra HP upgrade. I think we all, you know, knew that that was pretty likely going to be the course of action there. And uh, getting the, the mark is really superb for us. Because that's what you suffer with as Eve, right? Is, is damage output. For the most part, and, you know, HP and your, your passive being awful and, you know, all sorts of terrible things. But on the bright side, this will make us uh, substantially stronger. Getting the pact for free or, you know, for very little from Demon Judgment is an awesome get. It does suck that we got uh, the IV bag. Oh, well. I guess the way that we should probably handle this is um, keep gambling for keys. Because at least, even if we can't go to the shop, we can at least get a key that will allow us to go to the item room. Oh, that's a little dangerous. Thank you, Monstro's Tooth. Uh, yeah, at you know, getting a key that allows us to go to the item room might go a long way. Plenty of reasons to, to keep going, even if we get below 15 cents. Doesn't look like we can bomb our way into any of these rooms, unfortunately. And, ah, that's kind of what I was hoping for, so... We'll check out our shop first, because if there's a key in there and an item, we can definitely get enough money from IV Bag to allow us to buy the, uh, the key and the item. There's no key, unfortunately, but there is... Um, the compass, which is well worth buying, and then we bomb this for a spirit heart. Yeah, okay. Pretty much exactly what I was hoping for. And then, uh, because we're out of money now, we end up going hard as hell on this. Because, now we have a lot of money, uh, and we use this money to gamble on these and hopefully get another key, and at this point, more red hearts, uh, to allow us to go to that item room. And more bombs is not bad either. Basically, you know, this is standard milk in the floor 101. Please win more often, though. Oh, I really hope that would be a pretty fly. More HP is good. You know, that gives us free blood bank or IV bag plays, which gives us free um, consumables eventually. Keep it up. Seller part two is a great place to be flexing your muscle like this. Oh, okay, more bombs. Really would love to get some keys. I think you may know that about me by now. All right, so we go back to the IV bag a little bit here. And that's gonna allow me to get five cents. I would love to keep some money to actually use for shops on the next floor, but you know, we can't really swing that unless we end up getting keys anyway. So there we go. That paid out with Fly Love, which is gonna make uh, our choices much more limited. And one penny and there we go. So that's the end of that. Maybe we'll get a key for blowing it up. We didn't. We got a half red heart. Uh, I am going to, you know, be a little ballsy here and do that. And oh, I could have done it once more, but at least we got two cents for it. We will take fly love because why not, right? And, um, and then we'll leave. Could have been better. Definitely could have been. I know there's a, a slot machine in the secret room. Could have been better. You know what? With five bombs, let's blow up that slot machine in the secret room. It's going to cost us two of these bad boys, but... Could give us enough benefit to make me happy. Let's, let's try this out first. We got money now, so we'll do that. And I'm, don't ever say that I didn't try to get a fucking key on this floor. We got two bombs back. All right, so we've wasted two cents. No big deal. Okay, so we did what we could there. We did end up snagging some decent stuff, but now it's down to the next floor. We got the compass as a result. We got, uh, that's about it, but more HP, I guess, as well. From, uh, oh, and the mark after we beat the boss on that floor. So I would say things went very well, but certainly could have gone slightly better as well. So, very nice. We got the Lover's Card, which makes me feel a lot safer. It will take away our Whore of Babylon state, which is okay. We'll, we'll return to that later if we get the chance to get permanent pol Polaroid invincibility from like a Guppy's uh, head or something. Guppy's paw, sorry. Always get those items confused, considering, or that, which is surprising considering I've been, you know, having them in the pool for about 700 fucking episodes at this point. Monstro's Tooth is back. I would say this room is probably not the appropriate time to be using it. And just sneak around here. We don't have Lump of Coal. It's the first time we haven't had Lump of Coal in a little while, so I'm surprised trying to remind myself we don't have to stay as far away from enemies as possible. I don't know if that would have gotten the secret room, so I'm going to regret this, but it probably would have gotten the other secret room. I thought maybe I just placed the bomb improperly. You know, we'll Monstro's Tooth this one. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised I took some damage there. I'm just, I don't regret the decision, though. I'm not going to open up the item room yet. I might want to use my key on the shop instead. Whoop. Just a little dipsy dangle here. Getting the 1001 Spikes terminology applied to Isaac as well. 
Very important, you know? Keep some uniform nomenclature between games. Um, yeah, better to use our key on the room that's most valuable, which could be our shop if we end up getting, you know, blue candle, map, 9 volt, nuns have a battery, etc, etc. You know at this point what I like. Now we've got both of the keys necessary to visit both of the rooms that are valuable on this floor. So it's a little bit less pressing. Let's finish this floor, or this room I should say, so we can fight the boss. After we fight the boss, we'll talk about uh, what we're gonna do. But I really hope we snag what's probably likely to be a deal with the angel after the fact that we, um, you know, passed up a deal with the devil. In my defense, it was god-awful, so I don't mind it, but we'll see. We shall see. It's gonna be Fistula. I don't know when to use Monster's Tooth against Fistula. My guess is that we probably wait until we've got a few more uh, things on the screen, and hopefully they're, they're clumped together. You know, like, maybe, yeah, you know, maybe now? I don't know. That's what I was worried about, is that it doesn't actually, like, it doesn't hurt the next phase down, it only breaks the first phase. So, it's not really that effective. It would have been most effective against Silkworms, but whatever. You win some, you lose some. I don't intend to use Monstro's Tooth very often, it's just the game has kind of forced me into this situation, so... So be it. Did take damage, and no deal with the devil, but HP, so that's fine. Um, caves part one, plus one HP, and we still got an item room and a curse room available. We'll see what kind of good stuff we potentially have going on here. I think this run has gone not swimmingly so far, but it is amazing to be at six HP on the third floor as Eve. That feels super good. Um, could use some more damage though, but maybe I'm being a little bit insufferable because our last run with Isaac, our damage was so strong. And we get Sister Maggie. I know Sister Maggie's not everybody's favorite item, but for free from a curse room, I consider that pretty good. And we will have access to the secret room here, which probably will not give me enough money to buy something from the shop. And we know it can't be greed, so it's almost not even worth going. Well, you know what? Never mind. It gave us more than enough money to go to the shop because there were two nickels in there. Now I definitely can't really complain, especially if we end up getting a good item in here. Blue candle, maybe a blue candle or something along the lines of a blue candle. Ah, uh, it's coin purse, we would have been able to come here anyway. We'll buy it, just in case. Blue is full health, that's good. Orange, I found pills. Multicolored blue, tears up, all right, that was well worth it. Full health, I think is way better than the devil card, way more flexible, maybe not way better, but more flexible, I would say. So I'm gonna take that, and uh, we'll come down here and, uh, you know, take a little look-see in our item room, shall we? Blood rights, lovely. Not super worse than Monstro's Tooth, maybe even, for some people, a little better. Uh, I'm gonna take a guess that our second secret room is right here. Didn't work out, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. That's okay. Well, you know, there's really only, like, two other options for them, so let's give this a try. This one, and then there's, um this one right here unless it's next to the shop which I don't think is possible all right so we traded three bombs for a troll bomb let's try not to dwell on that decision at least I used my deductive reasoning you know keep that muscle strong okay still feeling pretty all right I suppose sister Maggie's a good upgrade HP is a good upgrade and uh, we got a tears upgrade too and a full health pill instead of a devil card which is not that big of a swing but whatever um, not going to this curse room just yet. Save that for the end. I'm learning the formula. Got to maximize deals with the devil. Weirdly enough, it seems that ever since I've started maximizing the formula for deals with the devil, I don't get offered mom's knife anymore. What's up with that? It's worth noting, you know, long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, mom's knife was the second item, second last item, I should say, that I needed to get golden god. I needed the parasite. Parasite still very rarely shows up, or... Well, let's see this. Not very commonly shows up. Thank you for the HP upgrade. Um, Mom's knife showed up all the time for a long period of time, uh, yet is strangely and unfortunately vacant lately for the most part. Um, I wish it would come back. I forget what the last item I need. Oh, no, no, I don't. The last item I need needed for Platinum God was uh, Guppy's Hairball. I remember that. Ah, oh, we got two full health pills. No arcade on this floor, unfortunately. And three full health pills. No arcade on this floor, unfortunately. Four full health pills. Um, not sure if I mentioned this, but no arcade on this floor, unfortunately. It does mean definitely gonna, you know, spend some time in our self-sacrifice room here, because why the fuck not? Now we have unlimited keys. Alrighty then, that's really fucking good. 
Let's see what we got going on here. This did take red hard damage, which I probably shouldn't have done. But hey, there you go. Mom's purse. I think we'll buy the uh, key as well. You might be saying, why'd you pick up Mom's purse? What do you want me to do, motherfucker? Reroll it? <laughs> Seriously, though. I have Monstro's Tooth. Um, with so many full health pills, and I, I've already taken red hard damage, I'm kind of just like, fuck it. Let's go into all these rooms. Magnet kind of sucks. Magneto, I guess I should say, kind of sucks. Um... So does that curse room. Well, full health full health as necessary, but there's so many of them on this floor. If we could just find a temperance card or something like that, we'd pretty much be guaranteed to get a an HP upgrade. So we'll just, um, you know, handle things as they come here. We are doing a little bit more damage than we used to do. Maybe as a result of uh, Sister Maggie. And now if we can find some trinkets, that'd be nice. Gives me some incentive, further incentive, I guess, to play Fortune Tellers. Not that we need it. Usually you find one or two good trinkets, well, one good trinket in the wild and then the Polaroid, which we have to take anyway. I would give up, you know, all hope probably of getting a deal with the devil on this floor, but this is okay. I can live with that. Plenty of silkworms, unfortunately. On some rooms, if you stand still, the silkworms don't see you. On some, if you stand still, they run right over you. So. See what our mini boss is. See if he warrants a. Uh, yeah, my, why not, right? We'll probably still have one that we can use on the boss anyway. Get the magician card, which is god awful. Pretty sad when one penny is a better takeaway. And one thing's for sure I'm very confident we're gonna be leaving this floor with full health. Take that as you will. Alright, don't even need to walk on the spikes. That's good. Wish it did that for chests. It does not, though. We'll probably look for our secret room on this floor as well. Oh, you know what? We actually won't get another Monstro's uh, tooth charge for the boss. That's kind of unfortunate. Work for me? Well, okay. More or less, I guess. Okay. Boss fight is going to be Gertie. We don't need a Monstro's tooth to fight Gertie, but it is a little bit of a shame. Because Monstro's tooth is like... Or Gertie's like the ideal boss for Monstro's tooth to apply, you know, causation in the appropriate direction there. It's gonna be a little bit of a long fight here. Gertie fights have a tendency to be. Or not to be. And go over here. And then you shoot. Oh no, you're creating some enemies. Okay, that's fine. We can deal with your enemies too. And then we'll shoot up here. And we'll do a little uh, semicircular dodge down here. I don't like that nub on the right side. That's my greatest chance of getting damage. For sure. Getting damaged, I should say. I hate fighting Gertie. I gotta look away from the screen sometimes. The flashing lights. Freaking me out, man. That's why we gotta kill Gertie a little bit faster. Oh, it's okay, get out of here, and... Spirit hearts for me. Deal with the devil for me? No, we should have known. Tears upgrade from Squeezy is fine, though. There's our full health pill. And, uh, secret room. Three bombs. Three possible locations. Didn't find it on the first one. Whoa, someone is shouting outside. Our apartment has like a big recycling area around it, and it is like homeless Stonehenge. I'm just trying to listen right now. Maybe that makes me a bad person, but like it's every day before the garbage pickup, people out there yelling and like, fuck you, fuck you, these are my cans. It's actually, you know, oh, I didn't take a full health pill with me because I was talking about a homeless Stonehenge. God damn it. Um, it's, it's terrible. It's really sad, right? Like, that these people have been reduced to this, but at the same time, it's- I don't use it as entertainment, it's just more just fucking terrifying. I'm like, people are outside of your house, like, I'm gonna fucking kill you over this can, and you're like, Jesus. I mean, we live in Canada, man, where do you think that this isn't South Central Los Angeles in the early 1990s? Like, please. Just, let's just be polite, we can sort this out. I hate to, you know, enforce a stereotype, but do you want a Timbit or something? Okay, so we can fight greed and play Judgment with one bomb, which seems pretty smart, because we can get money to play Judgment from Greed, um, and money to go to the shop. We're going to be low on keys if we go to the shop, though, so we're probably going to go to the item room first, just because it's right here. Now. And I realize, you know, it's not necessarily okay to be like, I'm the homeless, make me anxious. That's a very, like, pri oh, yes, polyphemous, speaking of privilege, but, yeah, it's a very privileged way of looking at things, but... You know, I, I can't help it sometimes up here in my ivory tower a few floors up and being like, you know, please don't actually murder somebody outside of my apartment for cans. I'll give you my cans. We don't need, you don't need to kill anybody. I know it's not even me that you're threatening to kill, 
I would rather give you my cans than have you kill anybody, though. If that's all it takes, if cans are the bargaining chip here, shit, dude, here's a whole bag of sweet chili heat cans. That's a weird play on words for bargaining chip. Anyway, what do you got? More bombs. I'll play you until the, the money's out, because we're going to fight greed here anyway. Um, two of hearts? Yeah, that's basically, like, makes me feel slightly better about leaving that full health pill behind like a fucking idiot. Those full health pills behind, I should say. And one of these days, you uh, pretty much have to pay out. I think it's in the rules somewhere. Really? 19 cents and you still uh, haven't done it, huh? And there's another judgment there, too. How interesting. All right, well, greed. You're going to get smoked like a fucking gherkin. They don't smoke gherkins. Um, not where I come from, anyway. So, how do we handle this? You just keep giving him more money, I guess. There we go. He pays out with Blue Candle. Blue Candle's real freaking good. Now... I think we'll probably just pop two of clubs right away. And we'll keep this judgment card. And we keep the judgment card because if we use this on a deal with the devil and it pays out. Oh, fly love, right. Then we get more um, deal with the devil items. So it seems very smart to me to take this with us, even though two of hearts would be amazing as well. Maybe we can take both if we end up using one on this floor. There's another full health pill. This is actually just getting kind of comical at this point. Okay. We have more keys. Might want to use it on the golden chest. Might want to use it on the shop. We'll see how uh, we'll see how the mood strikes me as we move a little bit further along. Could always be a demon judgment, but truth be told, we have the HP to to be fine with that as well. Polyphemus blue candle is a uh, you know stating the obvious here, but pretty fucking awesome as far as like floors go without even having fought the boss. So I'm feeling pretty good about the way the game seems to be treating me right now. And I would oh I forgot I can't fly. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves yet. Um, I would say that we are in a, a position that makes a win pretty fucking likely at this point. Let's not go to the shop just yet. Oh, that's actually real nice. Thank you, Magneto, actually, for giving me enough money to almost certainly make this judgment pay out if we get a deal with the devil or angel. And sneak a blue candle shot in there. Super easy. So, come on, come on, come on and sneak it. Sneak another blue candle shot in there, baby. All right, well, it's, you know, the Wicked. Very easy boss fight. Saw a great story on Reddit once. Oh, Northern Line, you go to Reddit, hurt the dirt. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes I, I do go to Reddit for my entertainment. I apologize to you for that, I suppose. Um, put Judgment down here. And then we'll play him. It's not Demon Judgment. It was a great story. It was like, what's, you know, the most accidentally awkward moment you've ever been in? It was like, this guy was driving his friend to, like, heart surgery. They were quite young. Oh, shit. And, um... Maybe that wasn't the right place to use that. Th his friend was like really scared. So he was like, alright, you know what, let's listen to the radio. And then they listened to the... We can handle this better. They were listening to the radio, and uh, Janis Joplin's Another Little Piece of My Heart came on, you know. Take another little piece of my heart. No, we got very lucky there. Um, very, very lucky there. So we picked up like 2 HP, a speed upgrade, and the scapular. Probably don't need that other speed upgrade at this point, I'd say. Again, exceptionally lucky. Um... We also got the prayer card, which is going to give us that other HP, in case it wasn't obvious to begin with. But anyway, um, yeah, it's kind of a funny story. Better than the other story on Reddit, which I really hope is fake, about the, you know, guy, he was like nine years old, and he had one of his friends come over to his house, and then his friend, you know, had his dog fuck him, and then, or her, I can't remember, and then they ended up, like, committing suicide later. You know, it's a pretty terrible story. Doesn't really make you feel too good about things. It is one of the top voted comments of all time. I mean, it's quite a, an extravagant story. It's unusual, right? Extra extraordinary. For sure. I was going to say, who do you feel bad for in that situation? Then I thought about it for a second, and I was like, pretty sure you'd feel, you know, you know who to feel bad for. Anyway. More money. Doesn't necessarily make the shop worthwhile. No, we're probably going to skip the shop on this floor. Save our keys. Uh, oh, I was just going to... I was just going to open that golden chest, and then I decided against it um, because we accidentally used a key in the most dumb fucking option ever because that's how that room works, apparently. I'm going to take the other speed upgrade just to have some fun with this, but this floor, this run is looking pretty solid as far as Eve runs go. So let's go down. One key left. Uh, I do want to visit the shop on this floor. Not having a compass... Or, sorry, not having a map sucks pretty hard. I hope we can get a map. But even if we don't, you know, the world is Arboreto right now, I'd say. Not an Arboretum. That would be 
Far too classy for this. Oh yeah, let's just uh, run right into the enemies. Ba pretty much the only button on my keyboard right now that won't more or less instantly kill uh, almost all enemies in a room um, is the, the run into them button. And yet that's the one I chose to use there, strangely enough. And uh, taking some really dumb damage. Let's just cool it here. More bombs, that's fine. We can't reroll them. We're gonna stick with blue candle. It is what it is. And are you telling me I did not take a full health pill again? I'm starting, you know, I'm getting more annoyed with myself than you are at this point. But I still doubt it'll make a difference. It's just, you know, time to maybe take a second and remember, like, to be deep breath. Whew, we, we, we're still playing the Binding of Isaac here. Don't fall into old habits. Be smart. Definitely not going to go fight this boss right away, thereby, uh, you know, ruining my chance to, to go to the shop. That would be real stupid. There are things that, you know, don't impact every run, but they have a statistical probability to impact it at some point. Better to roll with it. There's another HP upgrade. It's a testament to how lucky we've gotten so far. Um, that... Oh, man, is that another HP upgrade? It's full health, okay. And I found pills. Uh, it's a testament to how good the game has been to us that, um, you know, my relatively minor mistakes have not mattered, whereas on a lot of runs, they would make a big difference. I don't really need that health yet. No arcade around. I'm just going to clear out the floor, basically. And pretty much your perfect shot right there. Really, a red chest. Thank you for spawning and also having a live uh, explosive device inside of you. That's much appreciated. Not now. We don't have anything to do with that fortune teller. Um, we do want trinkets, but we just don't have the disposable income. Or the disposable keys. At least not yet. And uh, another tarot card. This one's Judgment. I think we're just going to use this one... Like, on this floor? Or maybe we'll take this one with us? No, we should take full health with us, just in case. It's like a, a one-up, basically. So we'll take uh, full health with us. We'll just choose when to use Judgment, I guess, after we check out how the shop actually is for us. We don't know what this pill is. Tears down. That sucks, but it's not the end of the world. This is apparently not the way you go to get to the uh, shop. Could have had... Could have fooled me. It's not like our tears are really... You know, like, our rate of fire was not that spectacular to begin with, so that's fine. Um, we still have to go to our shop. Let's take a look for secret rooms along the way. Would be nice to get the actual money necessary to go to the shop, you know? That would be helpful. And it is possible, by the way, that the Judgment card would be worth more than a full health pill, even later in the game. Because remember, a Judgment card could give us an item as well as a full health pill, so... Just by definition, basically, it could be better, but statistically, I think it's it's unlikely. The The full health pill is a lot safer. There's our 15th cent. Now, if we can get some more keys, I would feel even stronger about the situation we're in. And a couple hits here and there. We'll finish the job. Portable slot. So, this means that uh, I feel pretty okay just about just popping judgment down here and then taking our full health pill with us, probably. What do you got for me, Judgment? You're gonna pay out in 15 cents. There's no way you don't. You're gonna give me the ladder. Ugh. We know what this pill does. I think it, I think that pill is like friends till the end. I'm just gonna blow all my money. Tears down. Oh, good. Well, we're taking a full health pill anyway, so it would be wise for me to remember that in the future, like what these pills actually do, but oh well. And we're ready for our boss fight, actually, so we'll just take a quick look for more secret rooms. Uh, that's full health. Um. I guess it can't be that one that's adjacent to the curse room, so it must be uh, next to the shop, or yeah, it must be the one that's next to the shop, but I'm not going to worry about it. Inst instead, let's just continue onwards. I got a little bit of old almond stuck in my throat there. It's not the only way of saying old nuts. I didn't get old nuts stuck in my throat. I literally ate some almonds earlier today. I guess literally, maybe I did get old nuts stuck in my throat, okay? I mean, they're not old nuts, they were just eaten a while ago. If you want to be pedantic about the whole thing, which you seem to be fictional person I made up for the purposes of this joke in my head. Now, um, easy, easy fight here. No question about it. What's done is done. Pageant boy, truth be told, I don't mind it that much. We could maybe use this money for a judgment later. We got Polaroid. We have uh, Mom's Purse as well. And I think we are, you know, cruise control is set to win here. And that was easy. More tears upgrades would be lovely. More keys, also beautiful. We are going to need to open uh, the chest eventually, should we get there, and I think we have a very good chance of getting there. Uh, I'm not going to open that bad boy. We will open this chest, because bomb for maybe a key is a good trade, or bomb for more bombs. Yeah, that's how that worked out. 
One for one with some extra HP. You usually get a little bit of a surplus there, one way or another. Okay. Kind of boxed in here. But we survived. Just gotta wait. And there we go. A couple more rooms. Whoa. A couple more rooms will take us to the boss here. Nope. Nope. Not gonna do it like that. Not gonna lose all my health on this Mask of Infamy room like I always do. Oh, I'm a genius. Did you see that genius work? Good. Couple more. Oop, careful. That'll do it. Okay. Honestly, that room is handled pretty well. I mean, blue uh, candle really, really simplifies a lot of our problems here. On basically every run, but like in particular as Eve, blue candle is kind of like a band-aid fix for a lot of otherwise annoying problems. Oop, okay. Good job. 16 bombs. Uh, we're gonna get a single cube of meat, which again, you know, not the best upgrade mankind could possibly hope for right now. But I'm kind of thankful to have it anyway. I think even though it's a champion, it'll give us this. Um, but yeah, we're also getting a lot of money from the bomb flies, which is weird. I didn't expect that. Should be an easy fight. Single cube of meat will help me out on those late game boss fights. You know, we've got a really nice defensive opportunity there. Because, ooh, careful, um, Blue Candle will also block a lot of those, you know, incoming shots if we time it appropriately. Then we've got our orbital to back us up, so we should take a lot less damage. Plus our rate of fire is really low and our damage per shot is really high, so we should take a lot less damage than we did on that last run. And yeah, we'll, we'll take both of these. Let's get crazy, right? There we go. So now we can see our health. We can now fly, which is great. We have the Pact, which is greater. Let's move onwards. Little bit of a risky choice, we just gave up four fucking HP. That's crazy, right? Well, risky, yes. Stupid, risky, we'll see. Remember we had the free Pact as well, so now we have Pact and Mark. That feels pretty good. Now we can fly. Found our boss room right away. Do find ourselves in maybe a little bit of a trickier position here, so I think I'm gonna try to do exactly what we did on the last fight and not fight, uh, or not use bombs against Mom's Heart. Save the bombs, use them against Isaac and Blue Baby if you if you can slash have to. Uh, it seems worth opening, doesn't it? It might be worth opening. Those might be... One of those is uh, Tears Down. I think the other one might be Health Up. Or Tears Up? I can't remember. Bad damage on my part. We gotta fight three bosses. That's kind of fine, though. Considering the damage that we do, it's basically, you know... Bosses are basically just, you know, mini-mobs for us right now. Uh, up until the late game. Probably should clarify that before I'm like, Oh, I died against Blue Baby, and then people are like, well... Bosses are just like mini-mobs, Northern Lion 2014. Fair enough, you know? Hubris gets the better of you sometimes. You read, uh, Macbeth, probably. That's still part of the curriculum, I'm sure, and will be until 2200. I found pills. Tears up. Okay, well, I think it was still worth it for the tears upgrade. Definitely want to take full health with us. That's a much more viable choice. And uh, onwards into this boss fight. Should be very easy. So, might be a little bit longer than necessary, or than usual, but it should still be easy. That's the important part. So we sneak in that wonderful shot. Ooh, okay. Sneak in that wonderful shot. Crowd control the shit out of it. Again, saving bombs, part of the new meta that I'm trying to... Uh, advocate for in the Binding of Isaac. Saving bombs, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. It's not just for the real world. These bombs can be put to better use later for, for enemies who are in need of them more. And it's working out pretty well. I mean, it's obviously, it's kind of a luxury to be able to save bombs. We do have Blue Candle, Polyphemus, um, and a decent amount of damage between the mark and the pact and etc, etc, but you get the gist of it. Alright. Handled properly. Up to the next floor. No Curse of Darkness. Not a Curse of Darkness. Okay. I really didn't think the game would take me seriously there. Probably should have just used Tears to take them out. Oftentimes that ends up backfiring uh, gloriously. You shoot a blue candle at them and then they use their uh, Tear and it explodes in your face and you take damage from what is the easiest room at this point of the game, basically. I'm starting to think that maybe we're going the wrong direction here. I also am starting to think that I'm a big old dummy for getting uh, Monstro 2 out of his equilibrium state there. Just die, thank you. That simplifies things. 
Uh, maybe we did go the right way. And more keys. I think we did, actually. Now, we can't shoot when we're on top of these rocks. Just be very smart about this. There's no turrets. Okay, now I feel like a lot more confident. I almost always take damage on this room when there's turrets involved. There's no turrets involved. Oh, that was close. That was even closer because it actually hit me. You should be dead. Look at these health bars. You should both be fucking dead. Okay, steam sale. Lovely. Fantastic. Sign me up. 50% off my next item. Very happy. I'll use that next run. If ever. Now. Pony's gonna be dead. Headless horseman, whatever you wanna call it. Tomato, tomato. Rutabaga, rutabiga. We can use this. Okay, finally we have another trinket. And it's a good one. Mom's Pearl is pretty alright. So, given our rate of fire. Okay, seriously? You're not supposed to fire that much when you're not getting hit by fucking anything, okay? S slow your fucking roll here, Isaac. We should be fine. That was dumb damage that I should have just dodged away from, but I was trying to make sure the blue candle shot hit, which is stupid because if I had just waited a half second, I could have shot it in risk-free. Um, it's fine, though. Don't get bent out of shape here. Now, our whole reduce, reuse, recycle bombs plan stops applying here. It would be nice to save them for Blue Baby, but if we can't, we can't. So, let's just drop some in here. It helps. If we can save some for Blue Baby, that's good too. You don't need to save all, you can use some kind of piecemeal here. There you go. Working out pretty nicely, if I do say so myself. And this should be it. Oh, oh, I can't believe I let myself get hit by that. And I did let myself get hit by that, I don't buy into that. New age, like, you're fat because you want to be fat type stuff. I think there's lots, all sorts of underlying issues going on with stuff like that. But, I did let myself get hit there. I totally could have dodged. Just self-defeated. Now, if we save this full health pill for the boss fight, I'm pretty sure we're golden. Especially if we get good items in the chest. Remember, we have no rerolls. As much as this may feel like an Isaac run, it's not. Lifesteal. Ah, all stats up. Very good. And... Ah, poison bombs, also very good. Now, we're not gonna take lifesteal because it uh, can ruin our half heart. Ruining our half heart is not something we want right now. So we'll kill lust first. This is a very standard formula at this point. Lust first, then wrath, then sloth. We don't need more bombs. The tarot card could end up being a huge help for us. What do I even want? Um, as far as tarot cards go, hero font would be up there. I don't want to take something that's going to force me to get rid of uh, full health. So hero font's really good. Even lovers is alright. Um, and obviously something like the joker card. Or, you know, two of uh, two of spades would be really good so we can open that other golden chest. Let's see what we get though. Should be done, like, right now. Chariot's fine. It's basically like a free room. So let's chariot the shit out of this. Uh, I want to kill Greed first here. Because he's the biggest piece of shit. Yeah. The other enemies, relatively easy to at least take out. Uh, we'll kill uh, Gluttony last, so we can have a better chance of having full health when we go into the boss fight. Easy choice. As long as I actually manage to make it work. Oh, that was close to fucking it up. Yeah, that was real close. Okay, those spirit hearts, very nice. We'll save those until just a little bit later. Those may end up being important for us. Um, whoa, yeah, that was real bad. Wish there was like a fly love, but for spiders. Nothing there, and one room away from the boss. Okay. Depending on how much damage we take here, I expect to take one or two hearts. It's just it's not inevitable, but likely. Uh, I think we've got a very strong position for our blue baby fight. Yeah, yeah we do. So, you're dead. We're gonna pick up these other spirit hearts. There's nothing else we want to take in. Don't want to take in life steal. We're at a half heart interval. We have a full health pill. Cool, let's do it. I think we're I think we're gonna win pretty easily. And I, the full health pill is is sincerely our ace in the hole. Um, might be for the best, yeah, to actually take damage and then pivot to the other side. This way we can uh, get dead bird in there doing work, speed things up a little bit. And this is gonna be easy. We also have our bombs as backup. Should be using those uh, whenever I get hit or, you know, whenever the mood strikes me, basically. Just make sure you don't fuck up your, your full health shit here, and uh, it'll be good. Totally fine. 
Copacetic. I thought copacetic was a science term. You know, this solution is copacetic. Turns out, no, I'm an idiot. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.